What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Montyverse as we continue our adventure through Batman, Cape Crusader, and man, this show is everything I actually thought it would be. <laughs> I hope that's a good thing. That is a very, very good <laughs> thing, but I am excited. Episode 3, we are going to meet the mischievous Catwoman. Nikki, are you ready? Whoa, I don't know. Are you ready for the cats? No, I'm not. I would prefer dog person. I would prefer dog woman. Oh. But either way... <laughs> Let's jump right into it, starting episode three right now. You know, now that I think about it, DC has a cat woman, it yeah. has a cat man, but no dog man or dog woman? That's pretty messed up. Whoa. Not okay, DC. A lot of jewelry. O'Brien from the Gazette. Call me if you want a copy after you see it in the paper. My Whoa. Reasonable. <laughs> what? You're the one that took their picture without permission. Yeah, but that's like, a, that happens in New York all the time. I know. Remember New York during Christmas time? Oh, yeah. That's just a scam that, it's a big city scam. Oh. oh, God. The Wayne collection has pearls? These are pearls. Ooh. They're beautiful. Not that hard. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, I hear things tend to go missing around you, Miss Kyle. Ooh. Interesting. And sometimes they accidentally come home with me. <laughs> so I've had a few slaps on the wrist in court. What girl hasn't? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, kind of a lot. You should have yeah, bruises. Should I? All in right now. Yes. We have so much in common. You know, the whole wealthy orphan thing. You're Man, this tension is palpable. <laughs> <laughs> Most of the floozies I see on your arm. What do you think those cost? She know? Ten grand? She may. That's what I'm saying. Who the hell wears pearls like that into Crime Alley? Oh, oh my god, those are his mother's pearls? That's yeah. what I figured. I, that's pretty dis- oh! Yeah! oh! Hey, good for him. Yeah, don't fucking bring up his most traumatic childhood memory. But also, Bruce, don't put your mother's pearls that she wore when she died on this- <sighs> I don't, it, here's the problem, is that, assuming this is a philanthropy event, he knew what attention that would get. Yeah, but honestly, like... It's it's really screwed up. It's really... It's really screwed up, and it just shows the psychological damage that Batman had. Yeah. I love that Ed Brubacher uh, wrote this episode. So real quick, do you know who Catwoman is? Yeah. Vocally. Selena, oh, Christina Ricci. Ah. I my lawyer worked something out with the district. I was like, yes, Alita Kyle. How I ended up here on your couch. <gasps> oh. oh! The couch is way more comfy, Bruce. Go ahead. Give it a sit. Oh my god, this is awesome. And a bit of belly aching was part of your no jail time deal. Right, but... <laughs> to do is a few weeks of therapy. Easy as pie, hun. So, given this... Oh. I think we should take as much time as we need. Hmm? What? That's a little weird. Now, well, she, she wants him to take it seriously. Oh, uh, okay. Your situations? <laughs> what? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Deceptive. And the fact is, Bruce, you did blow your top. He's not wrong. True. I made a crack about my mother, so I popped him one. Anyone would have done this. Popped him one. But yeah. If anything, I'm kind of surprised I in this know. time period they're taking it this seriously. Childhood, it's obviously and reasonably a tender spot. Yeah, you think? I'm a grown man now. I don't really think about it anymore. Yeah. Until something happens. Repression is kind of like... Oh, oh we're good. Uh, Can you tell we're going us right you into know, the flashback. Oh! No, no. Yeah, okay. I'll be in touch with any news. Thank you. I honestly can't believe they're showing that. Therapy, Master Bruce. Waste of an hour. Do <laughs> <laughs> Ahead. That's that stupid happen. doctor. He, he stole the file. Of course he did. I was gonna make the joke that he can't be mentally penetrated. Whoa, he can't. No one can penetrate him. Ooh. What's that you're looking at, sir? Whoa. She knew. I mean. All these broads are outsmarting the old Batman. Miss Selena. Miss Selena. Oh. It's weird that Bruce up. Tim has like a weird obsession with making Selena Kyle like a socialite. It's afternoon already, Miss Selena. I like this version so far, though. Yeah, it's very B Tass. <laughs> Just put mm. them with the others. Oh no! Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, that's not how you pay bills. And I too would like to be paid again someday. 
Wow. They left us here with Bupkis, is it? That maid is way too committed. Yes. Days. The Whoa. cat food bills alone are bankrupt. Ugh, really? Somehow. Yes, your tone inspires much confidence. <laughs> Greta is a real one. To daddy, don't think I'm not noticing that. I mean... Oh, oh. wow, look at that. Darling. That picture so is a throwback to the original concept art of Bill Finger's version of Batman. Oh, nice. Um. Oh, oh. hot. Fabulous, right? That is the golden age Catwoman look. I mean, the cape is impractical, but it is nice. It's also the same pose I think Bob Kane's Batman took. That's, um, that's a really good nod. If I remember correctly. But I love I loved seeing that. I like that they're going with the Golden Age Catwoman look here because it's so starkly different. Yeah, I, it's, again, is it practical? No, but it's so different. It's so in line with, I mean, different from like the Batman in the sense that it's like very bright and colorful. Yes. And but, flamboyant, whereas Batman is all business. I was gonna say, and this fits the tone of the show. Yes. <laughs> oh! oh! I mean, hey, yeah, I don't blame bullet, her. You idiot. <laughs> Needs the bull whip though. Whoa. Oh. She does not skip leg day. And heels. Good for oh. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> You're a thousand times sexier than that sketch in the paper. Nice. <laughs> Very obvious, Bruce. What can Come I on. Say? You inspire me. <clears throat> oh! oh! That's what you get for looking. <laughs> Nice. You have toys? Oh, is, is that gonna inspire her to get the whip? Ooh. Hey, Flash. It's that Selena Kyle broad. Ugh. Ugh. What are you doing, lady? You trying to move up to the big time? That was kind of the plan, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I do like this. I don't think we've talked about the Batmobile. No. But I do like this interpretation of the Batmobile. Mm -hmm. It's not, oh, the show keeps making me sad. That means it's doing a good job. Yeah. How does that sound, Master Bruce? The eyes. Uh, sorry, I'm a little hungover late night with a lady friend. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> that you may be repressing yourself in other ways. This whole life that you've built for your- Like sexually? Feels so- Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it's a way to shield yourself She's from- smart. She's smart. She's very smart. It would be under- That's gonna make her more dangerous. Pressing anything and I just have a lot of disposable income and a very active social life. <laughs> oh. That's definitely true too. How many second dates do you have? <laughs> Is this therapy or church? <laughs> Wait, what? That would be a question in church. But are any of these women more than just an accessory for you? Is there accessory or even lust? Oh, or wow. Are you just going through the motions, being the person. Really call him out. I'm just playing the field, doc. That's not a character flaw, is it? Life. Uh, very sorry, your honor. I swear. I was just in the wrong place <laughs> at the wrong time. I love her wardrobe. Yes. It must have been that Batman character. This is all just a tragic misunderstanding. <laughs> Why didn't he like put something Mr. over that? This isn't your first. What's he gonna do? It's right in his face. Here. Well, Your Honor, since we have no evidence, it was Miss Kyle that committed these crimes and not the Batman. <laughs> oh my God. And since the stolen gems were all returned. Everyone's so crooked. And allow Miss Kyle another second chance. That's not a second chance, then. That's like, a, yeah, it's another second chance. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay with sticking it to them, though. Yeah, they're scumbags. You're gunning for jail time. But when it's the rich and famous, they get a break. Oh. Pain donor. Oh, come on, Barbara. Do you really think I'd sink that low? Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe I would. <laughs> if you weren't flat broke. Which is true. Miss Selena. Not yet. I think we need to get some work done on the car. Oh. Interesting. How do you blow an easy case like that, Bullock? <laughs> Shut your pie hole, Cohen. Oh. The lady's running out of lives. Trust me. She just doesn't know it yet. Oh, God. Are they going to whack her? Reports indicate that inflation and unemployment in Gotham can... <laughs> 
Look at those. Look at those uh, <laughs> 1940s inspired workout trousers. <laughs> They let her go. Indeed, sir. But apparently she has promised never to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> like, that means anything. I love how his physique is also like the 1940s bodybuilder that you would see in the circus physique. <laughs> Very in line with the comic books, too. I want to say ah, but it's a cat. It's a cat, gross. I mean, dog man. <laughs> this is a job for dog, dog woman. Yes, she sure did. <laughs> Don't you worry. I promise to take- See, here's the other thing. Even if I like cats, or even with dogs, I would not take that many. Oh god, Batman! Just love all the cape fla flapping in the wind. <laughs> Edna Mode would not approve, though. I don't care. Nothing cooler than a Batman cape. <laughs> oh! That's why you don't wear heels. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, wow. Second date acquired. <laughs> Can't wait to tell my therapist about this. <laughs> Stop. You're wasting my time. Oh! Wow. Kissing me then. Oh! I wasn't sure that these would actually work, but holy mackerel. <laughs> it's like, ouch. <laughs> I will not pursue. Oh! The Catmobile. Is that a comic thing? Yeah. Well, oh my god! A lot of work done. A, a lot, a lot. <laughs> Whoa, she's stealing all of his ideas. Who is she, Green Arrow? <laughs> Who is she, Golden Age Green Arrow? Interesting. Ooh. Miss Kyle moved out the other day after she was released from court. Son of a. <laughs> very pink. You would approve of this room. Four. It's bordering too much on purple. Here. Oh, okay. This is kind of like going back to the 80s I don't Selena think origin. Would expect us to live in a place like this. Well, I mean, you can always quit. To the police. Besides, I already paid a year's rent from last night's take. No. Wow. It's Miss Selena. And sure, this isn't exactly society living, but if we're going to live- Pay your maid. To make some sacrifices, right? Yes, well, I never- I mean, like, if you fix it up, it's not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Aren't you mommy's favorite? Yes, you are. That's not nice. Wayne does have appointments today, so some- Appointments? Oh. That's a good idea. Get the limo out. <laughs> I'll get changed. Mental health. <laughs> that's, a, that's a good idea, Alfred. Can we at least have the weekend? Oh, give you a setup. For appointment, sir, with Dr. Quinzel. Mm. I'll think about that, Alfred. How frequent are these? The museum is closing their fire. I don't know. It was a way to get out of jail, so. so looking... Yeah. It's donated by Gotham's upper crust. You now have only two more days to do so. Mm. <laughs> but I feel like it's been really. Helpful. <laughs> She's not buying his shit. Are the shallow cardboard cutout you pretend to be? But I do know better. Oh. Much too high for little old me to get through. And but that's I'm the truth. To keep going. That is beyond true. You should continue on as my patient. Now, doesn't that sound <laughs> like fun? <laughs> Wait, what? I don't know if it's fun. But I'm all aces now. I'm all aces now. <laughs> I'm gonna go watch one of those talkies. Make sure Lucius Fox gets these. Your final- I love- I love the voice yes, change. Yes. Because I've often Bro. thought it might be beneficial to- I'm fine. Now drop it. I'm fine. Now take me to the cave. Last of us. So I can put on my bat suit. And punch criminals. <laughs> Alfred, what are you talking about? I'm completely well adjusted. Oh god. It's not a Batman ad adaptation unless we see the Waynes get brutally murdered. <clears throat> oh, oh god. They. All of them. I'm going to make them pay. Oh wow. god. Holy shit. Oh my oh, god. What? This car tonight. The judge may simply let her go again. Not this time. 
Not if I punch her. <laughs> oh no, you have to go back then. Oh my God. Just the eyes. The eye work on Bruce and Batman the first three episodes have been fantastic and it all kind of pays off in this one. I'm gonna think of this. Oh! Oh! Oh God! Oh my God. Eel O'Brien from the Gotham Gazette. Yeah, yeah. Is that Eel O'Brien or Bill O'Brien? I need your help. I think you said Bill, but I don't sure. know. I thought I could have sworn you said Eel. What do you think? Because if you did, then it's Plastic Man. Oh. Let's go. Whoa. Oh. That's scarily sharp. Oof. Not the pearls, lady. Why? What? What is it with Catwoman? Catwoman and stealing Martha's pearls. But I didn't come alone tonight. Oh, oh God! What? what? Where'd she get that from? <laughs> what? She, that's a full-blown panther. That's a panther, right? Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure. Or that's probably a panther. I'm not a cat expert, okay? If it was a dog, I'd tell you. Oh. Is he immune to his own sleeping gas? Maybe. He 100% is. Ooh. Wow. Right in the thigh meat. Hey, look, that. Oh. <gasps> Dude, come on. That's a bit much. Ooh, I'm gonna punch her in the face. I got a lot, I got a lot of therapy I have to work out. Yeah. <laughs> Idiot. Also, how about just piece of shit? Yeah, F him. Whoa, he's gonna get the cops too. Oh, I hope he does. Yeah, but also like, he, is Batman helping Catwoman? Oh, hey, not so tight. Well, he's helping like, treat her in, okay. No, you're really no fun at all. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Some shots of you handling those cops it's all on the same roll of film i mean that's a good thing I, for sure hey i'm not trying to just make sure the catwoman photos run i don't care about the others hmm dude you should really show them trying to murder her Ugh. i think the implication there is now the cops have a reason to go after batman to bail me out i'm sorry miss selena but that's not going to be possible you <laughs> up on her toes yes i know miss selena I already sold her and oh. oh that you owned. What? Greta? You owe me three years of back. Pain. Finally, so she I grew a spine. Three years? She I grew a spine. Thomas leaves in an hour. <laughs> vein. Bye. Go for Greta though. That little crook. You're on to talk. Stand up in court this time. She'll be back. But Gotham's got a break from her nonsense. <laughs> mm. I hate nonsense. Trouble and Catwoman was. Probably. But now they'll all know I'm coming for them. Nice. Oh. I was thinking about what you said earlier. About seeing Dr. Quinzel. The coffee's cold. <laughs> <laughs> the coffee's cold, butler. Do I'll get you a fresh cup, sir. Thanks, Alfred. Thanks, Pennyworth. Oh. Oh, no. I mean, great episode because it shows us not only is it great because it's a Catwoman episode and Catwoman yes. episodes are always fun to see the bat and the cat interact. Mm -hmm. um, oh my God. See if Tom Kenny was Eel O'Brien. Okay. I was right. right. It is Plastic Man. Also, Jackie Hoffman. That is, that's a great choice. I mean, this cast is fantastic beyond fantastic. Ah, oh, man. Uh, the introduction, like again, like a murderer's row of, Talented the most actors. talented voice actors. And again, it's like, I love how they're taking them from so many, like, different places. Because yes. I would not have thought of Jackie Hoffman for a vo voice role, but... No. I mean, Greta was kind of a goat. It's fantastic. It's a, it's a combination <laughs> between some of the most prolific voice actors mm -hmm. working today and some of the best actors of stage and screen. Yeah. So they're kind of getting that all eras vibe. I know, but which that, is really cool, and that's what enhances the show because even if it's decidedly set pretty far back, it still has I feel like these modern sensibilities too. Yeah, it's it's very retro, but they do give it a little timeless effect as well. It's not really, yeah. it's definitely very retro, but like the grapple gun, like there are some pieces of technology there that are a little too new. 
yeah. for that era. <laughs> I think, but here's the thing when it comes to license with time periods and history is that uh-huh. as long as it's consistent within its own universe and it serves the story, I think a lot can be forgiven. And so far, I think the show has been pretty good about that, at least. Yes. I loved this episode because yes. it, I love the exploration of Batman's mental state. Yes. Because people don't realize how mentally damaged Bruce is as a character. Yeah. Not only that, but it also builds on Alfred's. Mm-hmm. Like we, it was like a, it, it almost was a like hidden Alfred episode. Yeah. Because it shows us like Bruce, the events from that night from Bruce's perspective, mm-hmm. but not realizing that Alfred has been there this entire time. And then the ending kind of punctuates that mm-hmm. by showing that he was there too. Mm-hmm. So I really appreciate that. And seeing that Alfred wants nothing more but to help this young boy and whether that's aiding in his vigilante activities as the Batman or trying to get him help or to see like people or to be more human mm-hmm. is a really interesting take. Like this is a very dark version of Batman. Uh, uh, hell yeah. And I think I think they did such a great job portraying that in the flashbacks without overshowing because they were yeah. so strategic with what they showed and how much because we really did not need to see the actual shooting yeah. but it's more the impact that it left on young Bruce up until the point where he kind of made his decision on what he was going to do, which is so morbid of a scene. Not only that, but something really interesting that this episode did is it doesn't show us, which not a lot of interpretations do, it doesn't show us Bruce before the murder. Right, which in a way it almost doesn't matter. Yeah, and that's exactly what I was trying to get at. Like, this is trying to say... There was no, like, what Bruce died with his yeah. parents. Mm-hmm. This is just the Batman. The Batman had, has existed from that point forward, and that's the show we're watching. We're watching an exploration of Batman mm-hmm. where Bruce Wayne does not even exist anymore. And that's not to say maybe something will happen down the line for him as development as a character, but mm-hmm. right now it is very much in the present. This informs him and all of his actions. Yes. I, um... And then to see kind of, to play with our our expectations, right? Because we expect, like, the flirtatious Bruce and <laughs> Selena relationship that they have in most mediums. Whereas this Batman's like, I don't get, like, this is his version of flirting. Yeah. Which is, which is, which is so, so, so dark. Like, because, because you see that she is, Christina Ricci was fantastic as Selena Kyle, by the way. I love this version of Selena. Excellent Holy portrayal hell. of the character. Very fun. Very of the time. Mm-hmm. I really love that. Uh, she's very much like a debutante of the 1940s, 50s, and 60s. And to kind of see her be openly flirtatious and playful, and to see him kind of like humor that, in mm-hmm. the sense of like, he let her kiss him yeah, for, for a, a very long... long time. I was like wondering about that. And then he just ends it with, you're wasting my time. Like, you need to... <laughs> Can you please stop this engagement? You are wasting my time. <laughs> It's just, it's so interesting to see this, like, and again, the fact that he kind of said, Alfred's like, oh, this should put her away for a long time now. And he's like, she'll be back. Yeah. But now, but uh, this will give the city a rest from her foolishness. Kind of saying, like, maybe he wants to see her again. Maybe oh, he wants her to come back. A hundred percent. Because I think he's clearly shown some level of fascination yes. with her. Um, And I mean, I would be surprised if she didn't. Yeah. And, I, and I'm happy if she does. Yeah, of course. I mean, she's great. She's a great character. We were also introduced to Jamie Chung's mm. Dr. Harleen Quinzel in this episode. Holy hell. That was fascinating interaction to see. I love that. This is almost like reformation for the character of Harley Quinn. Because we're, I feel like we're getting too lost in the sauce with that character. She's becoming very much what Deadpool became, where she's overexposed mm-hmm. to the nth degree. And she's almost becoming a caricature. Yeah. Of her original characterization. Mm-hmm. Well, what I was going to say, what I loved about these interactions is that it really displays her intelligence and her insightfulness in people. Yes. Which I'm assuming is really going to inform her actions as Harley Quinn. In a way, it makes her more threatening. Yes. To, to, to view her as this cerebral and intelligent, really... And it's, it's interesting because she's kind of picking apart Bruce. Mm-hmm. And she nails him in every aspect. So if she knows, and it almost speaks from experience, right? Because if she can see through his mask, mm-hmm. what mask is she putting on? 
Like, what's behind her mask? Whatever. If she's doing one now, then she's in scarily good at it. Because I don't think we're going to get the same maniacal, like, over-the-top Harley Quinn that we're used to seeing. I think, and I'm really curious to see what they do with the evil, sinister version of this Harley. Well, that's what's so great, is that there really are these ways of reinterpreting characters, like we've already seen in the show. Yes. And I think what a lot of people may not consider is psychotic can take so many different forms than yeah. bombastic and over the top. If anything, the less showy you are can sometimes be more sinister. Yeah, and uh, what this is something that we've never had before. Like, a lot of these Batman villains that they're showcasing in this show mm -hmm. were Bob Kane, Bill Finger originals. Yeah. We're there from the beginning. We're characters that we've seen uh, reinterpreted over every era of Batman in the DC universe. Mm -hmm. Harley Quinn... You can see right at the bottom of this page, created by Paul Dini and Bruce Timm in the good old 1990s. So we've never really had a backtracking of Harley Quinn before. It's always been 90s and yeah. today. Which is so interesting. And again, like, is what makes the tone and the setting for the show all the more fascinating. Yeah, and then to see one of the godfathers of the character, one of the creators of the character, Bruce Timm, kind of say like, well, you know, how do how would I take my, my creation... And bring her back into the time of Batman's creation. Yeah. And that's really exciting to see. And I'm really, really curious to see how they do that. Oh, I'm so excited. I, I'm just I'm just so thrilled with the trajectory of this show so far. Because I feel like each episode has gotten better and better. Yes. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a huge thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. And hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all of our latest content. If you want to watch our other Batman Cape Crusader reactions, click the link on the page. Until next time, guys, stay versed.